Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to make a table in Excel. We will create a sample personal budget. We will begin by adding a title and headings. We will add the personal budget as a title. And for our headings, we will add a number sign, amount, expense category, and type of expense. To change the width of the columns, place your cursor over the column divider. Click and drag to the left to contract or to the right to expand. To center the title, click into the first cell and drag to highlight the cells that are above the headings. Click on Merge and Center. To make the title and headings bold, click and drag to highlight the title and headings and click on B. Next, we will add a color fill into the title cell. Click on the cell. Click on the arrow next to the bucket icon. You can choose the pre-selected palette or click on more colors. In the colors pop-up, there are two tabs, standard and custom. Standard allows you to select from the beehive of color options, while custom allows you to choose a shade by sliding the color bar. Click and drag to select the color. When you're done, click OK to select it. To change the color of the font, click on the arrow next to the A icon and select your color. We will add a color fill into the headings. Click and drag to highlight the headings. Click on the arrow next to the bucket icon under the Home tab. You can preview by hovering over the color before clicking to select. This time, we will choose a color from the palette. Under the Amount heading, we will add numbers 1 through 5. Press Enter on your keyboard to move to the row below. At the end of our list, we will add the word total and make it bold by clicking on B. To add the border, highlight the entire table. Click into cell A1 and drag diagonally to the corner of the final cell. Click on the arrow next to the borders icon and select all borders. We will fill the total row with the same shade of blue by highlighting it and clicking on the bucket icon. When adding values in the amount column, you will notice that the default formatting for cells is general. To display the numeric values with a dollar sign, highlight the applicable cells by clicking and dragging and click on the formatting drop down and select currency. The numeric values will now automatically display a dollar sign. Click on the decimal values icons to increase or decrease the decimals that will appear. In this example, I chose two decimal values. We will type in the expense category and type of expense fields. To create a drop-down list that will automatically populate values, check out my other video. I will leave a link in the description box and in the right corner of this video. We will now calculate the total under the amount column. Click into the cell next to total. Click on the sum icon under the home tab. You will now see a formula which will automatically calculate the total in the amount column. You're all done. Please be sure to save your work. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.